Hey guys, this is Joellen from Jewelry Witch. I am interrupting our um, jewelry sales um, in order to bring you this wonderful unboxing of this, I believe it's 11 pounds almost, um, a box of jewelry. And it's some pretty awesome stuff and I cannot wait to show you. So just so you know, I am now able to do videos over 15 minutes. So hooray, and here we go. So before we get into this, I really wanna show you um, what my son did. He has been working on his calligraphy skills and he did that. Isn't that awesome? And he's uh, 17 and he is the one that uh, edits my videos for me, my sales videos. So I think that's pretty cool. Thank you, Ethan, for that. You may also see in the upper left hand corner that there is a lovely card. I had these cards made and um, they will come with jewelry that you purchase from me either from here or from my eBay store. And for the earrings, um, I will punch holes in this um, to hold the earrings. I think that they look pretty cool. Um, so let's dig into this box. I'm going to show you everything kind of one by one. I'll let you know if I intend on selling it or not. If you see anything you like, even though this, not, this is not technically a sales video, um, feel free to drop me an email. I might say I'm keeping this and that usually means I'm definitely keeping it. Um, and I do uh, craft lots as well. So I might say mm, this is going to a craft lot. Okay, so let's dig in. So here we have a bag, a little sandwich bag. All right, so there's nothing too formal about this video. Um, usually the unboxings aren't going to be very formal anyway. Also, um, my email address is in the description, but uh, it is um, jewelrywitchresale at gmail.com. So right here we have a super cute poodle. Um, I can't tell if this is steel or some sort of alloy. Um, but look at that, it's got some yellow enamel there. So he's cool. So um, sometimes I'm not sure what I'm, what I'm gonna do with these things so I won't say anything if I don't know. For sure. And then we have this little, I believe it's a Scottish Terrier. I might be wrong about that. Some sort of terrier um, with a black enameled vest and he's got a rhinestone in his eye there. He is not signed. Gosh, I am loving this lot already. And by the way, I paid about $41 or so for this uh, box of jewelry. Pretty good deal. Here's a nice furry fellow. His eyes are painted. He's got this nice hand painted body and you can tell it's hand painted. It's uh, electro plated on the back. not signed. And then we have this cute little, um, I don't remember what kind of dog this is, Cocker Spaniel perhaps, um, with some beautiful kind of baby blue rhinestone eyes. He, and he's got some flowers in his mouth. And this one isn't signed either. He's got some weight to him too. This is some sort of alloy. Oh, we got a stray rhinestone here. And then we have this 
beautiful pink poodle and I was thinking this might be a boy because he's got kind of a mustache but I guess that's what poodles look like right so who knows I'm not going to speculate on that I'm just gonna say I love this pink color and this pin is unfortunately missing um, so if you don't know I am really big on repurposing things um, so I might use him for that I'm not sure I might put him in a craft lot I'm not sure um, I will decide that later some things I like to research first also So then here's his cute little angel dog and he's got his golden wings and his frosty sparkly halo and his nice little yellow sparkly nose, blue rhinestone eyes, um, red enamel on his collar with a heart. He is very, very sweet. Not signed on the back. But like I said, super sweet, this guy. So now I have another bag of brooches. So let's see what's in this one. Oh, there's a couple bags here. So I was talking about um, reusing things and not letting things go to waste and things like that and you might notice that I did my nails yay and that they're very messy because I am not an expert whatsoever but I will tell you that I used the leftovers from three different sets of nails to create these I just glued them on cut them down to where I wanted filed them and painted them so there we go very very cheap way to do your own nails so here's a butterfly look at that cool here is another butterfly this looks like it has some butterflies and birds I'm telling you I am an animal lover I don't know about you I love all animals um, look at this. Look how pretty that is, those iridescent wings and everything. I'm not sure what that is. It might be some sort of enamel. Um, not signed. A little bend in that pin. It can be fixed, though, quite easily. Since I do also make jewelry, besides selling jewelry and doing beadwork, um, some things I actually can fix quite easily. I have a lot of tools in my arsenal so this one looks like it's hand painted and it's got some well it had some rhinestones in there I can't really tell okay so this top rhinestone is here still and the bottom one is missing this is it looks to be electroplated no signature but very very cute so you know a jewelry lot would not be complete without one of these butterflies these are very very common in these lots but you know I think they're very cute and they come in all forms they come in magnets they come in brooches uh, you know and this one is a little pin a little brooch I love the colors in this one. And what is this? I almost want to say bird of paradise and I don't know if that's an actual bird or not. I know it's a flower, uh, but boy, it looks like a bird that you'd see in a paradise. So this has several colors of enamel on it. It has some beautiful wings, quite a bit of wear, unfortunately. Um, let's see if it's signed. It's not signed anywhere. It's got quite a long pin on it. 
Um, definitely beautiful. And then we have this beautiful blue bird here. I love the color on this. And the way the, the metal underneath shines. It's not signed on the back. Um, but that's okay. It's so sweet. Very sweet. Sorry guys, I had to pause that because my cat was in the litter box making a lot of noise. Um, yeah, so you might notice that I have a lot of scratches on me, and that's because my kitten, and you can hear her playing in the background now, um, maybe, um, she is about, she's exactly six months old, um, yesterday, and she loves to play, and I'm quite sure she's part Bengal, um, yeah, so, <laughs> she's a riot to have around. So we have this bird here, and it's funny because my cat's playing with a bird toy right now. It's making a lot of bird noises. This unfortunately is really, really beat up, and it's missing a lot of enamel, and it's kind of sad to see it, but you know, these types of things don't go in the trash for me. They don't. It, things like that are kind of unique like this um, I usually find a way to repurpose them and so here's this guy he looks like he might be what like a pelican um, and he's holding a heart and he's made out of this clay probably sculpty clay um, it doesn't quite feel like polymer um, He's not signed on the back, but definitely handmade. Uh, next we have this bag of cat brooches. I'm so excited because cats are my favorite. So I collect cats, I collect cat jewelry, cat um, figurines, especially ones from Japan. Um, I just love cats and I love snakes. I love, um, I love bats and turtles and frogs. <laughs> um, but let's see what's in this one. Okay. So look at this guy right off the bat. I love the pose on this cat. Oh my goodness. This up here, not quite sure what that is. I think maybe there was a rhinestone in the ear at one point, and now it's missing. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, that's awesome. I love how regal this cat looks. So this is just a metal stamp. Uh, metal stamping. It does have this C clasp here, which actually suggests that it has some age. That's beautiful. It's got kind of this goldish enamel. And I can tell you, I'm probably going to keep most of these cats for my collection. Um, one of the reasons why I bought this lot was because I saw these cats in there. So then there's this beautiful prissy kitty with this um, kind of black matte enamel and some rhinestones in the bow. Um, I'm surprised that, uh, that none of these are signed, um, but isn't isn't that lovely I love that mmm okay and we have a sleeping kitty wearing what looks like a Santa hat just a little Christmas kitty 
It's so sweet. Not signed at all. It's a really heavy one. Really well made. Oh, I probably will sell this one because I have one that's pretty similar. Not quite sure, but if you are interested, definitely email me. And here's one that's kind of like a like an outline of a cat here. And this is interesting because it doesn't have that typical pin. It has this lapel this lapel pin. Hmm. So I, I'll probably sell this one as well. We got three little kittens. One has spots, one has stripes, one has what looks like flowers, and there's this matte tone and this shiny tone here. No signature. Oh, wait, there is a signature. So it looks like it says A G A J C. If you know what AJC is, please let me know. I, like most of us, are, am still learning. Um, that's a nice one. I'll probably sell this one. I like how this one in the middle has that stripy shirt with the bow. Awesome. And then we have this pretty little kitty with a big, big, big bow. And it has the kind of that same matte and with the shiny. Um, made by the same company, AJC. AJC. Hmm, I wonder who that is. Um, I would probably be willing to part with this one. So then we have this pretty kitty. They're all pretty kitties, let's face it, right? But this looks like a nice Christmas kitty as well with some earmuffs, which by the way, earmuffs were invented right here in Maine as far as I know. So, and then it has a sparkly enamel green color and then some rhinestones on this star here. Oh, look at the pretty pink enamel in the ears, too. That's sweet. Okay, this one is KC. Not sure what maker's mark that is. I would have to go on Margaret's page and look through the files there. Um, I've been working on kind of keeping them on my hard drive so that I could have super easy access to them, but... Here's another Prissy Kitty with a lot of rhinestones and that same kind of matte enamel. And rhinestones for the eyes. Um, all the rhinestones are actually present. Again, not signed. That's okay. Um, I'll probably keep this one. I am a sucker for black cats, especially, um, because, you know, jewelry witch, hello. <laughs> but my last cat, who lived to be 16 years old and survived cancer once, and then unfortunately um, passed away from cancer the second time, um, she was the most beautiful black kitty I ever saw in my life. And her name was Delilah. We called her Lolly. So I love the black cats. So good luck getting those ones for me. Sorry. <laughs> Here is a kitty. And this reminds me of um, the calendar. You know where the kitty's on there. And it says just hang in there. This is the just hang in there kitten. It's missing some. Some of that matte um, metal tone there and on the paws. It's quite a lot of damage 
This one is also made by AG, AJC, it looks like. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. Hmm. But if you're interested, it's jewelrywitchresale at gmail.com. Now I can tell you this is missing something. I believe it's missing something. Because I can't imagine what that on the bottom is for. But what a cool cat. And this is made by JJ. I have no idea what that's for. I think that there was something in there at one point and now there isn't. This might just go to a craft lot unless you're interested. Here's another kitty just hanging in there. So I got two of these now. Aw, so sweet. And I got a little Hello Kitty. I'm not sure if this is a genuine Hello Kitty. Um, it is a brown kitty with a green bow, orange shirt, and blue shoes. So it does not say Sanrio on the back. I'm Sanrio. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, it doesn't say the Hello Kitty company on the back, so I'm gonna guess this is a knockoff. Um, but it sure is cute. Here is another little sandwich bag in this box. So let's dump this out and see what's in here. Oh my goodness. It's kind of, um, it's a lot. Let's see. What do we have? You guys curious? Aww. Uh -uh. So it looks like a teddy bear with a beach ball. The beach ball has some blue and red enamel. And on the back, it does appear to have a signature. Let me just get a look at it. It says Jerry's. Neat. It's not in the most perfect condition. So here is an elephant brooch. I'm going to say mommy and daddy elephant playing with a baby elephant. And look how this elephant slides back and forth like that. How sweet is that? Let's look at the back. Here's what the clasp looks like. Oh, that's cute. Let me see if I see a maker's mark. I do not see a maker's mark, and I'm surprised, because once again, if I was the one who made this, I would sign my name on it, because it, it's pretty cute. Who doesn't like elephants? So this butterfly, I can tell right off the bat, is missing an antenna, and that's unfortunate. Um, I really like how it has this kind of double wing thing going on here. That's awesome. So even though it's missing an antenna, um, I can use this in one of my collages. I do make collages of Christmas trees, tree of life. I do different shapes like hearts, um, things like that. This is signed Monet, so this was a Monet piece. Um, it's gold tone. I have no reason to believe that that's precious metal. Um, but it's a pity that that one antenna is gone. <laughs> Alright. So we have a couple really happy guys here. These are pretty old. I would say maybe from the 60s. Okay, so they're made in Hong Kong. Which definitely tells me that they're old not sure when I would date them to I was guessing 60s I could be wrong but they're pretty cute okay here's this elephant he's kind of got this 
um, gold um, enamel going on here. So I do believe that this bottom part was meant to hold some charms. And you would just attach your charms to him and then wear him. No signature. Awesome. Oh, here's another one of those smiley guys from Hong Kong. Here's a lovely rose. Um, I think there's a signature here. Let me take a look at it. So I don't have a loop handy. Um, not because I don't have one. I do have one, but you know I do beadwork, so... Um, the reason why I'm pretty good at beadwork is because I am super nearsighted, um, which is pretty great. Hmm. It says like gravy. See, I just told you how great my eyes are and now I can't read this. It's quite small though. Let me see if I can zoom in on this for you. Okay. Can you guys see that signature there at all? It's pretty hard to see. Anyways, that is a pretty cute little rose and I would definitely be selling this uh, in my eBay store or to you, whichever. Whichever comes first. Here's a an M and and it's um kind of this alloy and it's etched. This is not um that great quality, I don't think. It's pretty beat up, I should say. It's made by Mansell or Mamsell. Mom cell? Hmm. Uh, so, um, this would probably be put in a collage or something. Here's this nice enameled butterfly with this kind of burnt orange and this um, kind of peachy swirl enamel. Um, no signature here. Huh. I found another kitty! Okay, so once again, it's a black cat, so you know it's staying with me. Um, oh, this one's super cute. I love his head and how, how, like, I don't know. I love the shape of his head. It's cute. That's awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. Here's a little girl in a raincoat, and it looks like she was holding something at some point in her hand. Not sure, maybe an umbrella or something. Don't know. She's not signed. She'll probably go on a collage. But if you're interested, let me know. And here's this lovely kind of bar brooch with three different colored cabochons. They are acrylic. Um, this does not appear to be signed. It's quite nice. I like this. If I can get it closed, that would be cool. Except, I think the clasp... Oh, the clasp is weird. Okay. There, got it. <laughs> so that's nice. That'll probably go on um, a Christmas tree collage. 
so here is a calligraphy pen or like a fountain pen I should ask my son if he wants this um, this says new view on it and it does have a copyright symbol so and if you don't know, if it has a copyright symbol, that means that it was made after 1955. So, neato. Oh, you know that elephant that we had? We have a pig, big fat pig. That wasn't nice, was it? But he is. So, this one um, had charms here. You could add your own charms still. <laughs> and there is a nice, um, looks like rhodium plated, um, brooch. I'm trying to read the back of this. Um, it is, I can't read that at all. Um, it kind of looks like it says Jerry's. I'm not sure. It kind of does look like something that Jerry's would make. Not positive. These are plastic here. So are the eyes. And we have an M. Just a plain M. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> and little butterfly. This is kind of crudely made, I think. Came out of a mold, probably. Hmm. Not signed on the back. It might be a moth, actually. Sorry if you guys hear my chair. It's I have the squeakiest chair in the world. Now here is like a, a sparrow or a dove. I think it's a sparrow. And this is electroplated as well. And it's signed Sarah Coventry. Well, there's definitely some green on here, but I'm not sure if it's metal damage or if it is something stuck on there. It's probably metal damage. This says, I love you, grandmother, on the back of this heart here. And then it signed Avon. So I'm going to have to try to scrub that up. So just so you know also, and if you've seen my other videos, you've heard me say this. Um, if you guys purchase something from me, I do try to clean it if, I, if it can safely be cleaned. Um, so you won't get something that's super dirty. Here is another one of those... Cocker Spaniels, exactly the same as the other. Here's a really darling seahorse. Oh, I like this seahorse. My goodness. And this is just a pin back that probably fell off one of those pins there. Okay, next we have this box. Let's see what's in this box. All right. So I'm going to show you what these look like. I'm not sure if this is going to focus. But the top of this says pins E. Z. And what this actually is, I'm going to move it down, maybe you can see it better. 
So what this actually is, is you, if you have a single earring and you really, really like it, you can actually turn it into a pin with this. And here's an example. And these were already in here like this. These are earrings, but let's say they're too heavy for earrings. And a lot of people would say that they're too heavy for earrings because they do have some weight. So you can just wear this as a pin with one of these things. And you just push it through your shirt or your collar and wear it like it was a pin. So I think that's pretty neat. And there is actually instructions underneath with some, I guess these were the original backs to those earrings. Um, the accessory that doubles the life of earrings. Super cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I think it's a wonderful idea. And I don't think that they make these things anymore. I mean, I have never seen them. And I've been opening um, jewelry lots for years now. Um, which is why I do have so much to show you. <laughs> um, but this one's new. I got this jewelry lot um, pretty recently like last Thursday about a week ago so I'm just gonna continue on we have some just some regular plastic stud earrings and these are the ones that have the plastic posts for kids with hypoallergenic um, you know, and these backs here, I don't like how they're all yellow like that, but eh, I'm not sure what. I'll probably just put these in a craft lot because I honestly don't know what to do with them. Um, my mat here gets uh, dirty so fast. Actually, this mat right here, I got it TJ Maxx. It's actually a cutting board. It's a very thin one. So in case you're looking for something, fellow jewelry YouTubers, uh, TJ Maxx, get one of those cutting boards. So this right here is an anklet with a really worn uh, lobster clasp. So I'll either repurpose this or put it in a craft lot. We have something in this little bag. It looks like a lot of these things in this box were put in individual bags. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't mind opening them like that. So this is a very small bracelet. It's got a fold over clasp. It's not signed. Uh, let's see. Let's check out and see if all the rhinestones are here. Oh, it's definitely missing one already. Um, yeah, so this will be repurposed. Or put in a craft lot. Not sure. Oh. So, my wrists are kind of big, but that's cute. Very cute. Alright. These look like more cats, you guys. I love my cats. If I can get it open, come on. I love cats so much, actually, that I have a cat tattooed on myself. That's my lolly right there. It's not done yet. <laughs> my light keeps going off. So, <clears throat> here are some metal with some enamel or some resin here. Uh, they don't have a signature, but they do have that dot like Avon would have. 
So I'm going to guess that these are Avon. I'll have to research that. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or sell them. Um, I will decide later. Um, cool. Nice. I love finding cats and animals and lots. It just makes my day. Makes it so worth it to me. So here's a pair of earrings. They are um, parakeets or cockatoos. And quite honestly, I don't know the difference between the two. But aren't they adorable? They're these kind of laser cut earrings here. I'm um, going to guess that they're not precious metal at all. But they sure are cute. Very nice. And here. I'm kind of a perfectionist guy, so this is hard for me to just not be editing my videos or anything. <laughs> but, um, that's kind of the nature of these types of videos. So this is like a ceramic brooch that somebody made of a dog paw. That's wicked cute. And that's that's one of the things that we say here in Maine. We use it as an an adjective, like to say something is super or very. We say wicked. Oh, that's wicked cute. Or you know, oh wicked awesome. Oh, that's wicked. So, a little Mainer slang for you. Um. So just a bracelet it's a religious bracelet it says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever uh, believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life John 3 16 and that goes all the way around I think this one's good enough to sell I'll just clean it up really nice yeah that's nice um, and I would guess it's about two, two and a half inches in diameter. Here's another bracelet. This one, well, these are acrylic, so are these. Uh, these are metal caps. And I'm sure you've seen this style before where they're just all piled on top of each other. The stretch is real nice too. And so it gives this it gives it this bendy effect, which I think is pretty cool. Hmm. But I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna try to sell this or just um, put it in a lot. So this is nice for this time of year. It is corn very nice and the, the corn husk is this bright gold color and then the corn itself is like this um, plastic with this um, pearly kind of um, finish and it is a lapel pin really nice one this is really well made it's really good quality Wow I like that one. I'm going to put that one in a protective bag because I don't want it to get scratched. Ooh, we have a box. Let's see what this box is. Okay, so it says Durf Jewelers, Plymouth, Indiana, since 1925. Ooh! Screw back earrings. Oh, those are radiant. I love that. And I've seen um, 
I've seen cuffs like this that were not in such great shape. These are still in the box. That's kind of amazing to me. Okay, so they're marked sterling on the back. So he, these are some nice sterling um, screw back earrings. And then there is something inside this box. Okay, so it's called Rainbow Diffraction Jewelry. And I'm not going to read this entire thing to you, but I will hold it up in case you want to pause uh, and read it. Wow, that's really neat. I like that. I'll, pro I'll probably keep them unless you're interested in buying them. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to sell them for yet. So here's a pair of earrings that say Bev on them. And they're on kidney wires. These kind of, uh, is that what they're called? Kidney wires? I'm not sure if they're precious metal or not. I would not say that they are, but I would probably test them. The hooks might be. So, that's cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, good luck getting that back in the bag. I'll just set it aside for now. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? Alright, so let's talk about this. Do you guys see what this is? Let, let me hold it up for you. Okay, so we got some ruby slippers and a yellow brick road and the Emerald City. And I will tell you that the Wizard of Oz um, always has been and always will be one of my favorite movies ever. So when I was about Oh, I'd say I was about 14 or so. I actually memorized the entire script to that movie and I hand wrote the entire script so that I could memorize it. This is signed A J G A G A J C like the other ones. But I'm in love with this, you guys, and um, I'm, I won't be selling this. I will be adding this to my collection. I will put it in my Betsy Johnson drawer because it has that kind of whimsical, fun nature. Okay, we got another pair of earrings. So I'm going to tell you this is going to be probably a pretty long video. It's what I do. You can always, like come back to it if you get tired of listening to me. So here's some cloisonne earrings and um, there's some white enamel with some green enameled leaves. There's a blue enameled um, butterfly here and then a beautiful kind of rose colored um, flower at the bottom. And it is not signed on the back. It does have that typical kind of cloisonne um, texture on the back. So I am willing to sell those. Not sure how much yet. I'm sorry. I can't like make up um, prices on the spot. I know some people do, but I, I really like to know what I'm selling first. So this is going to stay with me, but I'm going to show you. This is a nice cloisonne uh, brooch as well. And it's two kitties, and this one's kind of cobalt blue, and this one's white. And it has that same texture. Yep. I have claimed this in the name of Jewelry Witch. These look like some bug brooches. And, by the way, I also collect bug brooches. <laughs> so, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be willing to part with some of them. Okay, so this feels like 
Oh, I thought the pin was missing, but it's not. Hmm. It looks like it might be a B. What do you guys think? I would say. And it's got this enamel, different, different colored enamel. Sweet. What else? Okay, so we have a fly. I'm not a fan of the fly. So I will be listing the fly. It could be Mike Pence's fly, huh? Come on, I don't, you know, I don't think it matters who you're voting for. That was pretty funny when that fly landed on Mike Pence. <laughs> He's like, hey, what you doing, buddy? <laughs> And then there's this bug, this insect. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Probably another bee. I would guess another bee. Not signed. Um, I would be willing to sell this one. I would be willing to sell this one. You guys, I'm full of it, I'm telling you. This looks like a cicada. I might be wrong about that, but I do believe it's a cicada. Um, it does have some wear. Um, these are plastic eyes. I do love the underneath. Look at this. Look at that finish underneath. It's got like this iridescent, like pink color. And this camera is not doing it any justice. I do like this one. I might keep this one because I do love cicadas. Um, but we'll see. Next, I'm just grabbing stuff right now. So these look handmade or homemade, whichever you prefer. You know, they look vintage until you get to this ear wire. It looks like a more modern French wire to me than vintage. Um, I really like this seafoam green color. These are quite heavy too. Hmm. They have a little bit of damage right here, a little bit of wear. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these. They might end up in a craft box. Oh, what do we got? We got some fishies. Some angel fish? Gosh, I do not know fish at all. All. I know the difference between a shark and a goldfish, and that's the best I can do for you. <laughs> so, oh, that's cute. Okay, so they're two different colored ones. This one needs to be fixed. It's on the, it's on the ear wire backwards, but I can fix that pretty easy. Boy, okay. So this one has like. A yellow enamel this one has green it looks blue on the camera but it's really green I like how they're mismatched you know one of the things that I wanted to start doing was just wear mismatched earrings of course I would have to deal with people saying you know your earrings don't match right yeah I know you know but wouldn't that be cool if could just do that who cares right who made who made up the rule that earrings had to match I don't know I think in jewelry we should make up our own rules so these are quite nice I like these primary colors um, they're not signed on the back at all hmm they're not super well made, but they're pretty cute.
Look at this. All right. So let me try to move my light just a smidgen. So these are parrots. They are hand painted wood. And you see these a lot, like um, like tourists will come back to, with with these. Mm, very cute. So I will be listing those for sure. I'll probably try to clean them up very, very gently and dry them really well. Those are tricky to clean too. Here's another pair of wooden parrots or parakeets or whatever type of bird these are. Um, and sometimes I see these, they're just single ones and I will use them in a collage. So, and I also have a friend who's a veterinarian, so I have given some of these to her as well. She loves them, she'll wear them to work and everything. These are cute, I like this hot pink. Oh, they're very sweet. Very lightweight. For those of you who are afraid of heavy earrings. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like we have another... We have another bee. And it is rhinestone encrusted. Look at all those rhinestones. Um... It does not appear to be signed. Let me just, oh, this clasp kind of is hard to work. I'm gonna have to look at that a little bit better before I go listing this or selling this to anyone because that closes really hard. Um, but if I can figure that out, I am willing to part with this one. Here's a nice, another rhinestone encrusted butterfly. Missing a rhinestone right there on the head, unfortunately. It looks like that's the only rhinestone missing. It's not signed. Um, that missing rhinestone is barely noticeable. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that, but if you're interested, shoot me an email. Here is a lovely little gathering of turtles. These are stamped metal. Um, and you can tell that because they're kind of hollow and thin on the back. Um, this is just, I'm not sure what that is. It might be a little bit of rust there. Not sure. Um, but I like the three different tones. We got the brass tone and the copper tone and the silver tone. And like I said, I do collect turtles, but I might list it. I'm not sure. This is super cute. If you know what kind of car this is, let me know. My dad's probably like, oh, you should know this because he loves working on those old cars. Um, he lives on the reservation here and he's he seems to always have one of those old, like, Oldsmobiles or whatever uh, from the 60s and 70s in his driveway. And these are two little kitties that are in love. And it says cats on the back. This model might be from the 50s, judging by what these kitties are wearing. And I love the moon. And the plate says meow awesome and this is signed AJC so I have a lot of AJC brooches I am actually not familiar with that company surprisingly AJC you know somebody's gonna tell me what that means what that stands for and I'm gonna kick myself I'm gonna say oh duh <laughs> right but Okay, these are acrylic. 
they're made to look like crackle glass, but they are definitely acrylic. I think that they are going to be put in a craft lot. I do not like the way the wires look either. Mm. So a lot of the times if I feel like the earrings are nice enough to sell but the wires are garbage, um, I will replace the wires with either, with a stainless steel or sterling if somebody absolutely needs sterling for uh, sensitivity issues or whatnot. I don't want anybody's um, ears to get inflamed. And wow, we're in, we're at an hour already. Seriously, why can't work days go by this quick? These are really nice. Look how pretty those are. Those are just sparkly. They could definitely use a cleaning. I've seen the back of these before. Are those? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't want to say because I don't like being wrong, but I mean, I'm wrong a lot. Are those, um, Farrah Bradley? I don't know. They're not marked. Let me know if you know. I'm going to clean these up and see if they clean up well. And if they do, I will sell them. So here's a pretty necklace. I can tell you right now, these are not real pearls. I will. Yeah, they're not real. Um, this is Claire's. I should have looked at that first, right? Because <laughs> if it's Claire's, they're not going to be real. But, yeah. So, I have a friend with a daughter who's about six. Nope, she's probably not even that old. She's probably five now. I'll probably um, give this to her for a dress up. <laughs> okay. So, these look like wooden earrings. Let's take these out and look at them. You know I love my cats. You, I will always talk about cats. Sorry if you don't like them, but not sorry, actually. There's something wrong with you if you don't like cats. So, <laughs> these look hand-painted. They are fat, lazy cats. Um, they're not marked or signed on the back at all. <laughs> these are really cute. <laughs> Those are so cute. Um, I will probably um, clean these up and sell them in my eBay store. Alright, what else do we got? We have... Ooh, those are pretty. So those um, faux pearls in the middle have very light scratches on them. Um, but nothing that's too terrible. All these rhinestones are here. I like on the back how they kind of look like gears. That's neat. Um, yeah, these are cool. You know, I might sell these anyway. Clean them up a little bit and sell them. Hmm. Alright, <laughs> we got some carrots, you guys. This is wonderful. See, let's look at these. Aww. So these are resin. They're just carrots. I don't know what else to say. They're painted resin carrots. <laughs> um, they would be really cute for Easter. Um, 
I would probably, these are cute enough to, to um, sell in my eBay store. I might wait till April, but. Oh, we got another bag. Check this out. Let's see what's in this bag. Oh, I can tell right now there's some more elephants. If there are any elephant lovers, boy, this video must be great for you. <laughs> okay, once again, we have a rhinestone encrusted brooch. Oh, this elephant looks like so happy. Not signed, but... Um, and it looks like, boy, those are really pretty. They have kind of that, oh, kind of that, like, rainbow shimmer. So nice. Um, and we got these. They're two different tones. There's the gold tone and the silver tone. I like how they're put together on the back here, too. That's neat. The pin could use a little straightening, but I can do that. It definitely needs to be cleaned up. I can do that also. We got a baby elephant with some baguettes. Um, they feel acrylic to me. And his eye is also acrylic. He's just a nice electroplated guy. He's adorable. He's having a good time. And then there's this elephant. Oh my goodness. I love all these animals. And then this beautiful black enameled elephant. Um it's missing some rhinestones it looks like maybe this one rhinestone had been replaced already it's a different color than the rest um, gosh I'm not quite sure it's got a lot of damage on the back it looks like somebody tried to solder this at one point I'd like to try to upcycle it but I'm not quite sure what I would use it in um, but if any of you are so in love with this, um, give me an email. Uh, I wish he wasn't missing those rhinestones there, but what can you do? And then here's a mama elephant and baby elephant. Very cute. I, I, I like how, like, shiny this is. This is really nice. It does need a cleaning, but super nice. Okay, so there's the elephants. Maybe we'll find more elephants in here. I'm not sure, but all right, let's keep going because I am the Energizer Bunny today. My son made me some tea and it's like so good. Mm. I think it's decaf chai. It's really good. Nice. So these are ladybugs. These are very unique looking. I don't think I've ever seen um, earrings quite like that. I have a feeling that this tape is going to leave some residue. So I'd have to clean them up pretty good. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they're really cute. They are cute. I'm not, um, I'm not crazy about the design. Uh, if nobody wants these, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Somebody had a dollar on them. Uh, I'm not sure what I would do there, but if nobody uses these, I would repurpose them, but... If you're interested, um, let me know. I do like the, the ladybugs themselves. It's just this kind of horseshoe design, I guess. I don't like that. I don't know. Hmm. It's just 
not my style, I guess. This one's really interesting. This is some sort of clay. And you can tell somebody handmade this because you can see fingerprints in the leaves. Uh, it says Ulig. Probably pronouncing that wrong. I don't even know what language it is. Um, it's interesting. I'm probably going to have to research this one. I don't know what this is. Probably some more clay. And then there's some rhinestones here. It has a little bit of a deco vibe. You know what I mean from this shape here. Um, this looks like... can't tell in this light if it's like hematite or just a silver tone. That's pretty neat looking. Kind of unique. Look at that. Okay. this get this open um, looks like a pretty inexpensive earrings yeah these are um, plastic those beads at the bottom mm, these will probably end up in a craft lot Well, these could definitely use a cleaning. There is something stuck right here. It's some clay or something. I had some residue. Yikes. So if these do, don't don't um, clean up, they'll be in a craft lot. But hopefully I can get them clean and um, they'll come out good. They're not signed. They would be pretty if they were clean. Mm, very dirty ones. This looks like a just a musical note um, lapel pin. I'll take it out. Why not? Okay. So I failed music theory class actually. So I don't even know what note that is. not signed on the back but I could sell that I'm sure somebody knows what note that is and I love music and I've always been a singer since I was a little kid but I can't read a note I've tried maybe I didn't have the right teacher I don't know So there's a lot of wear on the back of these. Uh, they're enameled. Um, these will probably just go into a craft lot. I'm not feeling those. They're in rough shape. I'll probably... Mm, I don't even like to reuse backs. So I don't know. Sometimes they're too bent. I'll see. I might save the backs. Um... Here's a little baggie of stud earrings. Let's see what we've got. Okay, those look like steel earrings there. And then we have these ones. Not sure what those are. And then one lonely one that kind of looks like these. Just some metal ball studs they probably go into a craft lot or um, I will repurpose them here's a lovely brooch that says mother I feel like I messed up my lighting a little bit hmm 
anyway it says mother it's beautiful it's um stamped metal that's pretty cute I can tell you right now that these are more cats I love my cats so I used to rescue cats actually I saved 16 cats and kittens one year from my neighborhood that were strays and I worked with an organization um, where we were able to get them spayed and neutered and get their shots and uh, get them put into homes so that's pretty nice this one here is missing a ball so like actually I think six of the tiny kittens they were all white I actually pulled them up from my heat ducts one night in my house um, so that was amazing all of them made it except for one unfortunately that one just couldn't thrive but those are really cute and I've seen cow earrings like this but I don't think I've seen kitty earrings so although I do love cats these are not quite my style um, and I will be cleaning these up and listing them they're not precious metal Look how gorgeous this is. So I definitely plan on using this in my beadwork. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. I'm going to clean it up really good. It kind of has a silver tone and gold tone. And it looks like it's covered in rhinestones. But it's just made to look that way. There are actually no rhinestones here except in that eye which is genius and yeah when I picked it up I felt that there wasn't a pin so I'm like yep repurpose time so of course I do Native American beadwork so we're really into our eagles mm, that is a an understatement <laughs> um, so yeah I will probably make a medallion out of this do some bead work around it, some bead embroidery, back it with buckskin, um, make a beaded rope, uh, rope necklace to go with it, maybe add fringe, maybe not, we'll see. It'll be interesting for you guys to see what I do with this, huh? So, that's cool. So this looks like maybe little fish bones not real fish bones of course but they're made to look like fish bones you know like you'd see like in a comic strip like Garfield or something hmm, they're plastic those are pretty cute I don't even know what I'm gonna do with these but uh and this is cool too because uh, the enamel, you can't really see it on camera, but it's two different colors. There's black and then there's this uh, gray color. Not quite sure about those. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm talking so much. I've been talking for like an hour and 20 minutes. Mm. So I gotta drink more tea. All right, so this is going to be fun. Oh, gosh. I can't believe this lady sold me this entire box for like $41. It's, it's amazing. I got such a good deal. So there's just a bunch of deer here. So there's this buck right here. He's missing some of the electroplate. 
unfortunately, but he can be reused. And then there's this... Is it a greyhound? This might be a greyhound. I mean, he's kind of running and looking behind him like, What up? Who chasing me? So, he's cool. And then we got a little fawn. Oh, this fawn has little faux pearls in the ears. Too cute. And uh, look at its little spots. It's got a rhinestone, a red rhinestone where the eye is. It looks like it's either crystal or glass. And then there's a unicorn. Nope, not a unicorn. It is a horse missing its tail. Aww. Aww, that's too bad. Aww, so that'll have to be repurposed or put in a craft lot. We'll see. But these are really cute. I can sell these. I'm sure there's somebody that likes um, greyhounds. When I was a kid, our neighbors across the street um, had like three or four greyhounds and they had a fence in, in the yard and we could just watch them play outside. It was pretty cool. They're very smart dogs, I thought. And these Poissonet kitties are going to have to stay with me. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. They've got these lever back um, wires here. That's interesting because it's like they're loose and then they snap in place. Hmm. I like the color of these. Look how beautiful that color is. And they're not signed, but yep, I claim these. I claim them in the name of Jewelry Witch. So this looks like a necklace. I haven't seen any necklaces really except that one Claire's necklace. So this is exciting. Oh gosh, let's first look at this. Okay. So this is acrylic. We got a navy blue on this side and a white on this side. This is a nautical theme. And then this beautiful chain. This chain is gorgeous and it feels so nice. It's very well made. So I did see a tag. Let's zoom in on this tag here. So this tag does say Monet. Um, and this clasp right here also says Monet. And I like this clasp. It's one of those that kind of do that type of thing. Neato. Yeah, this is a really nice piece, and um, I will definitely be listing this. I wanted to give a shout out to also to Aged Goodness. Um, her name is Angela. I'm sorry I keep missing your videos. I need to write down when they are so that I don't miss them. So Angela also sells jewelry on YouTube. She does um, auctions and um, her husband Steve helps her and then her daughter. Um, and she's really fun to watch and she's she, we always have a good time and she plays games and Maybe someday I will follow her lead and I will do auctions as well. I'm just not quite there yet. I'm just now getting used to YouTube and I only have like 11 subscribers right now. So, but I understand it takes time and that's all right. And I've had, um, you know, people support me like Kristen D has been a big support for me and, um, my son, um, 
has been sharing my videos as well. So it's really nice. This is actually really pretty. It's quite small. The stretch is nice. Um, it does have a lot of wear on these beads, however, and it probably will end up in, in a craft lot. Now, you know, I'm guessing that whoever had this lot added these hooks to a lot of th things. I'm now seeing that these hooks have been added because um, they do not belong with these earrings, I can tell you that. So these will be in a, a craft lot and I don't think these hooks were used so I might use them for something but um, these are really scuffed up. Or I might use them on a Christmas tree collage. So here is a mother of pearl brooch. It's carved here. Oh, it's missing a tail. I actually did see um, the bottom part of its tail um, when I went through some of that other stuff, and I threw it in that box. So, um, but I, I'm not sure I would try to fix this. I might, but then after I fix it, I might use it on a tree of life collage or something or bouquet um, collage okay we got some more Christmas theme and you know why I know you guys don't want to think about it yet but uh, Christmas will be here before you know it and I can tell you I'm a little bit worried about putting up a Christmas tree with this Bengal kitten here <laughs> because she is going to destroy it. I might have to just get a fake one with lights already on it, but at the same time, she really likes to chew on cords and stuff, and I don't know if I even feel safe doing that, so we'll see. These are really cute. They're plastic, but they are sparkly, and they're very, very sweet. And it says, I'm made in China. Um, they're very cute. So they're either for Christmas, or I was thinking they might be those yellow ribbons that um, they had during Desert Storm. Not sure if they're older than that or not. And in, in real life, these are actually a lot brighter than what is shown on camera here. Oh, let's see. What else? We have a lovely cowboy hat brooch. Which reminds me that um, I run a career exploration workshop at the Department of Labor here for my job and it tomorrow's hat day and I totally forgot until now. So I need to remember to grab my hat. This is pretty cute. Not signed. Super cute. I like that. And we have this lovely enameled apple. Oh, it's a pendant. It's marked MJ. Um, it's also a brooch. That's pretty nice pretty well made. Maybe that would be good for a teacher. Oh, Snoopy. So it's a bowling Snoopy. So I don't know about where you guys live, but here they announced that they will not be airing um, 
uh, great a uh, great pumpkin uh, Charlie Brown uh, Halloween special and everybody's so sad about it and I don't blame them because I remember waiting for that when I was a kid too you know this might not be official merchandise um, it actually does have a signature or something up there. It looks like somebody scratched something in Russian. Strange. Okay. But anyways, might not be official on Charles Schultz or Peanuts merchandise, but um, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. He's pretty cute, though. Here's a very nice Cloisonne um, rose. Very, very well done. I'm not sure about that signature. I will have to check Margaret's files. I've seen it before. Just don't remember what it is. This is actually in really good shape. I'm definitely listing this. Here is a nice butterfly, and he's not signed on the back. Uh -huh. Here, <laughs> oh gosh, here are some lovely little dancing fat piggies. <laughs> so cute. Oh man, I love it. And I am not recognizing that mark at all. I, I'm not so sure you can even see it. Let me try to zoom in on that. Oh, no. Nope. Here we go. Do you see it? It's just like this oval with like a, sw like a swish inside of it. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Somebody liked pigs. And we have some American flag earrings. Some enameled ones. Cute. And um, they're not signed. Oh, there's a little bit of damage on that one. You see that? A little bit of that has rubbed off. It might just be dirt, actually, now looking at it close so I'll try to clean them we'll see here's another kind of patriotic theme here okay so these are vintage for sure and they have the red, white, and blue stripes. They need they need to be cleaned. Um, let's see if I can see a mark anywhere. I see a little bit of green there. I don't like that. Uh, but hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna try to list those or not. It might not be worth it. They might just go into a craft lot, especially since there's the green on the post. Here is a lovely little kitten, <laughs> an interesting little kitten with a wobbly head, and it's supposed to be wobbly. It is on a hinge. Interesting. So I might keep this one. He's pretty sweet. Here's a pair of earrings. Oh my goodness, I like these. So these are faux pearls. They're plastic. They have kind of this really nice pearlescent um, uh, tone, color, finish. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. And then um, they're surrounded by these rhinestones. And all the rhinestones are there. I think I would go ahead and sell these. Um, 
I might put different backs on them. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I can't sell this. This post right here has had it. So what I'll do is I will repurpose them probably in my beadwork. Mm -hmm. They sure are pretty. So here is a nice gold tone teddy bear. He's got kind of this um, spiny almost texture. He's wicked happy. Look at him. Um, <laughs> and then on the back, there's no mark. Um, he is rhodium plated, it looks like. And I threw him on the floor. Terrible. I will get him in a second. So this is interesting. I'm not sure what this apple is made out of, but it feels like a plastic. Um, so it's, it's kind of translucent as well. It is signed Dane Craft, I believe, if I'm seeing that right. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on this one. I like how it is kind of see-through like that. That's cool. And I have a pair of hoops. They're really well made. They're not precious metal. They got this um, bead on them. Hmm. I might take this bead off and just um, do some beadwork around the edge and reuse these for something else. These are nice. All the rhinestones are there on these. Got some more Easter earrings. These are some pretty little Easter eggs. Um, they are plastic. They can definitely use a cleaning. Uh, Mm, that the jump rings will have to be replaced if I'm going to resell them because I don't like how they look but I can easily do that these are pretty sweet they kind of remind me of this like jingle ball toy that my sister had when she was little they have this kind of the same colors that's very cute I like those pastel colors we have some wooden fish here. These are hand-painted wooden fish. I see these all the time in these lots. Um, and I've just been kind of saving them because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. There are so many things, you guys, that you can do with broken jewelry. I'm not sure how many other people upcycle. Um, but, gosh, you can make so many things. I'm always surprised at like when people throw things in the garbage I'm like oh it breaks my heart I can't do it so there's a girl that I follow on YouTube that actually um, is a dumpster diver and she does just that she gets into dumpsters and she sees what good stuff she can find in there and um, oftentimes she'll go to like uh, colleges and, and stuff and wait till um, everybody moves out of the dorms and then raid the dumpsters there. She's found game consoles, designer handbags, like it's amazing. And she will um, list things on eBay or she will um, have a yard sale and just make a little extra cash. So her... YouTube channel is called Bravecast, like breakfast, but it the the, um, the two letters in the middle are mixed up. Um, and I will put a link to her channel along with Aged Goodness's channel in the description for this video. So watch her dig through the dumpsters; it's really awesome. 
And I like how environmentally conscious she is. So me, I think I became environmentally conscious once I realized that I was born on Earth Day. April 22nd is my birthday. And when I was a little kid, I would go around with my brothers and try to pick the trash up out of the neighborhood. And I always felt kind of an obligation to the earth for one, being indigenous, and for two, um, being born on Earth Day. So look at these penguins with these little hearts, these cloisonne penguins. Um, they look like they just need to be cleaned up a little bit and put on some hooks. And that is totally doable. I have a friend that really loves the penguins. And she visits Australia um, quite often. And um, she got a tattoo of Australia, I believe, on her body. And that's pretty neat. She loves to go there and cuddle koalas. Can you blame her? Seriously. <laughs> uh, look at these. These little sailboats. I thought that these were um, silver at first, but they're not silver at all, but they sure are cute. So I'll probably list these. So if you guys didn't see my first two videos, or well, I have three now. I have my intro video, and then I have my two earring sale videos, my earrings galore videos. Go ahead and watch those if you're interested in seeing what I have and purchasing any earrings from, from those videos. So these aren't too well made. And they're not signed. Um, these will either be repurposed or put into a craft lot. And once again, we have some animals. We've got some dolphins here. And these are pretty cool. So these, okay, so I thought that was Mother of Pearl at first. I'm not so convinced that it is. It might be plastic. Mmm, I can't tell. Let me kind of... Hmm. So, I do believe that they are Mother of Pearl, now that I've felt uh, the coldness there. Um, and these are dolphins jumping out of the water. And they're about the size of a nickel. These are really awesome. I will sell those. So I know some of you don't really appreciate long videos. But you can always come back to it. Me, I don't mind creating long videos. Especially now that I can. That's pretty nice. So we'll just look at these through this bag here. They say number one mom. Um, and I have no reason to believe that they're precious metal by any means. Um, they look to be on the original card. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I might sell them, I might not. Hmm, this looks like a couple of rings. I can tell right off the bat that they are not good, good quality. Alright, definitely not good quality, that one. Um, not marked anywhere. That'll go in a craft lot for sure. Um, 
there's way too much damage on this guy and um, this will also be put into a craft bot. All right, moving on. You know, you find um, good with the bad, bad with the good. It's all, it's all good to me. I don't mind it. It's all a treasure hunt and who doesn't like a good treasure hunt, right? You're going to find some dirt with a treasure hunt. <laughs> and here. Okay, these are cool. I love these half moons. Yeah, I really like those. Those are cool. Um, they're a little bent right here, but I think that they would easily bend back into shape. These are not super expensive um, metal at all. Not at all. Um, I might actually keep these <laughs> because I really do love my crescent moons. Right. Here looks like a pair of stud earrings. More studs. Oh wow, these are pretty nice. These are pretty well made. Um, my camera is not liking to focus anymore. Those look nice. Um, they're just flowers with some pearls in them. Are they real? No, they're not real. Uh, I'm not sure who made them. Mm, I'm not seeing any markings whatsoever. But those are actually pretty nice. And I would probably list those. And then we have a pair of heart earrings. And they're rhinestones. All the rhinestones are there. These are pretty cute. Um, they're not signed anywhere. Oh, nice. And it's interesting how you have modern mixed in with vintage. Um, and these are Claire's magnetic earrings. And they're just kind of all jumbled in this one corner because they all got loose. I mean, how can you really keep them in one spot? These were originally $14.50. Um, so these will probably end up in a craft lot. Uh, not quite sure. Here's a nice feather brooch. This is in, ooh, this is in really good shape. It's really in great shape. It doesn't look like there's any um, uh, plating coming off. No wear. It looks like it is Premier Designs. Yeah, that's being listed for sure. That is beautiful. Next we have a, it almost looks like a pretzel, doesn't it? It's just a knot brooch. And it is signed Trafari. Um, quite honestly, and people, people are really like into Trafari, but it's not my favorite. Um, I would prefer Sarah Coventry over Trafari, honestly. Um, I don't hate it. It's just not my favorite. This one has seen better days, I think. I might just need to clean it. I'm not sure. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Okay. So I can't see it. I can't say I've ever seen um, a pin like this before. This is a double pin, double brooch going on here. 
and it has this heart dangling in the middle of this chain between them. They have like this orange enamel on their tails and their neck up here and their feet. Oh, and they have, oh, this one's missing an eye, but they have uh, green rhinestone eyes. They are electroplated and they each have a pin for the back. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do considering this guy is missing that eye. That's too bad. Um, I'll either put it in a craft lot or repurpose it. Not sure. So this is cute. I've seen a few like this though. I've seen them smaller. I've seen dragonflies like this. I don't believe this is super old. It is marked Monet. Um, it's in really excellent shape. And now here is this tiny little pin with a leaf. Looks like a maple leaf. So no signature, just a cute little leaf. Great for the fall. Great for this time of year. And then, so this is kind of cool. Wow, if I can figure out how this goes. It almost looks like steampunk, doesn't it? Except it's like legit old. It's got these metal stampings here. With a black enamel and then this cream colored enamel. And it's just, it's got a safety pin on the back. It's not super duper old. I would say it's vintage, but it's not super old. I think this would be great for somebody who um, is really into um, steampunk. That's neat. Okay. Um, now we have some enamel earrings here. It's like a like cream colored heart enamel earrings. They got like kind of this wavy swirl there. Oh, these feel nice actually. They need to be cleaned. Definitely need a good cleaning. I see some green. I hope that's not permanent metal damage. If it's not, I won't be listing these at all. Um, so cute. They are just, they are pretty sweet. So I think I'm going to maybe stop this video at two hours, <laughs> considering I need to go to work in the morning. And it's technically morning already. Um, so here are some nice painted wooden earrings. Some more. No signature on the back there. Oh, those are so sweet. So I'll probably keep these ones for my collection. These guys kind of look like my little Bengal kitty. I always say bangle, but it's Bengal, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Us Mainers, we say what we want, how we want. And, okay, so you know the ones that I showed you earlier on in the video? These ones say Ruth. I'm not going to take them out of the bag or anything because you pretty much already saw them. And here are some earrings made out of shells. And they have some really stunning colors. Wow. Can you see that? Oh, I love those colors. My goodness. 
they definitely need to be cleaned up because look inside there they got dust galore in there um, these are so nice I might keep these ones I'll clean them up really really good um, but I like these and I have some abalone ones that are a lot like them but my son just came out to tell me good night and that he loves me and it's okay if he does <laughs> yeah he went back in his room he didn't hear me but I will say good night to him in a second um, I will show you this last pair right here for now till my next video um, wow I can't believe all the rhinestones are here that's amazing they are somebody had six dollars on me which is not a bad price actually so look how different these backs are oh okay so this is um, these are not vintage actually these are made by 1928 it's a company that kind of makes earrings um, not just earrings makes jewelry that look vintage you know have that vintage look but they are not um, and they make really nice things sometimes yeah so I would say that these are made by 1928 but I'm still I'm still gonna sell them I think that they're absolutely beautiful okay wow that was a nice long video for once so much better than just doing 15 minute videos um, I appreciate anybody who stuck in for this long uh, that's great there's gonna be another video to show you um, the rest of what's in this box um, and maybe a couple more videos because there's still a lot left in this box. I really made out like a bandit with this one. Um, so I guess right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys goodbye until next time. And I am going to tell my son goodnight and that I love him too. And he's such a sweet boy. And that's what he does every night. He always has. Um, and hopefully uh, one when I start doing auctions, um, you'll get to meet him because he'll be helping me with that. So until next time, have a good night, everybody, and have a great Friday.